Hi guys, this is Miss Igo. Welcome to my classroom. In this video, we're going to be talking about Euler and Hamiltonian paths and circuits. An Euler path is a path that uses every edge in a graph with no repeats. A path does not have to return to the starting vertex. So let's look at this figure and find an Euler path. But before we do so, let's define some of the parts of the graph. All of the sides that connect are called edges. So we have one, two, three, four, five edges in this diagram. The points that connect the edges are called vertices, or each one is a vertex. And they're labeled with letters. So this is vertex A, vertex C, vertex D, and vertex B. As we defined, an Euler path has to cover every one of the edges and it can't go back over an edge that it has already covered. So let's start at vertex B. I can go from B to A to C to B to D and to C. So we can go back to the same vertex, we just can't retrace one of the edges that we have already gone over. That's not the only Euler path that this diagram has. We could start at C and go to A, to B, to C, to D, and back to B. And that would be another Euler path. We would not, however, be able to start at vertex A and find an Euler path. If I started at vertex A and went to B and then to C and then D, I would have to either retrace this um, path from B to A or I would have to retrace the path from B to C in order to cover this last edge. So this figure has more than one Euler path, but you can't start at any vertex in order to uh, find an Euler path. An Euler circuit is a circuit that uses every edge in a graph with no repeats, but being a circuit, it must start and end at the same vertex. Let's find an Euler circuit in this diagram. Starting at vertex D, we could go to A, then B, C, F, E, C, A. So like I said, we can go back to the same vertex we've been to before. We just can't trace over an edge that we've already traveled on. So that would be one example of an Euler circuit. We started at vertex D and we ended at vertex D. Another Euler circuit in this same diagram, we could start at C and go to B, A, D, E, F, C, E, A, and back to C again. When trying to determine if a diagram has an Euler path or an Euler circuit, we can use these theorems. The first theorem says a graph will contain an Euler path if it contains at most two vertices of odd degree. And the other theorem says a graph will contain an Euler circuit if all vertices have an even degree. So let's define degree. The degree is determined by how many edges are connected to a vertex. For example, in this graph, vertex A has one, two edges connected to it. So let me write down how many edges are connected to each vertex. And again, that's the degree. So A has a degree of two, B has one, two, three. 
edges connected to it, so its degree is 3. C also has 1, 2, 3, and then D has 2. So based on the theorems, it says a graph will contain an Euler path if it contains at most two vertices of odd degree. So these two, B and C, have vertices with odd degrees, but that's all. They don't have more than two, so this would have an Euler path. However, it says a graph will contain an Euler circuit if all, all vertices have an even degree. So this would not have an Euler circuit. It would have an Euler path only. Let's look at this other diagram. In this one, B has a degree of 2, A has 1, 2, 3, 4, D has 2, E has 1, 2, 3, 4, F has 2, and C has 1, 2, 3, 4. So all of the vertices have an even degree. So that means this would have an Euler path and an Euler circuit because it has a path if it has at most two um, vertices with odd degrees. So this has none, so it fits that criteria. And then um, for a circuit, they all have to have even degrees, and these all have even degrees. So this would have an Euler path and an Euler circuit. Eulerization is the process of adding edges to a graph to create an Euler circuit on a graph. To Eulerize a graph, edges are duplicated to connect pairs of vertices with odd degree. Connecting two odd degree vertices increases the degree of each vertex, giving them both even degrees. So in this diagram, we said that it had an Euler path but not an Euler circuit because vertices B and C both had odd degrees. So we can Eulerize this diagram by making another path from B to C. So now that gives vertex C a degree of 1, 2, 3, 4, and it also does the same thing for vertex B. It gives it a degree of 1, 2, 3, 4. So now all the vertices have an even degree, which means that it would we would be able to create an Euler circuit on this graph now. So let's try finding an Euler circuit. If I start at vertex B, I could go from B to A to C, D, B, C, and then back to B. Remember, in order for it to be a circuit, it has to start and end at the same vertex, and now we were able to do that. So, once again, Euler circuits and paths cover every edge in a graph. Hamiltonian circuits are circuits that visit every vertex in the graph. So, a Hamiltonian circuit is a circuit that visits every vertex once with no repeats. Again, because it's a circuit, it must start and end at the same vertex. Let's find a Hamiltonian circuit in this diagram. If I start here, I could go like this. And remember, I'm trying to touch every vertex, every dot. And that got me back to where I started, and so that's a Hamiltonian circuit. As you see, I don't cover every edge, and that's okay. All we're worried about is covering or touching every vertex for a Hamiltonian circuit. For a Hamiltonian path, it must also visit every vertex once with no re repeats, but it does not have to start and end at the same vertex. So let's find a Hamiltonian path in this diagram. If I start at vertex E, I could go to C, and then A, D, and B. And that gets me to every vertex. Again, I don't have to return to the one that I started at. Let's try finding another one. Let's start at vertex B this time. I could go from B 
to A, to D, to C, and to E. And that would be another Hamiltonian path. Does this have a Hamiltonian circuit? Remember, a circuit means that we have to start and end at the same vertex. Well, if I started at B and I went to A and D, C and E, once I go out to E, there's no way for me to get back to vertex B without crossing back over one of the vertices that I've already touched. Even if I started at vertex E and I go to the other vertices, there's no way for me to get back to E without crossing back over a vertex that I've already touched. So this does not contain a Hamiltonian circuit. Unfortunately, we do not have any theorems that tell us if a graph contains a Hamiltonian circuit or a Hamiltonian path. The only theorems are about Euler circuits and paths. So for the Hamil Hamiltonian circuits and paths, we have to just try it and see if we can find one. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button below. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if this video helped you, make sure to share it with your classmates. Thank you for watching.